If you've been on YouTube for a while, you may be familiar with this guy here. This is LA Beast. He's a competitive eater and YouTuber that's been around content creation for over a decade and someone I used to watch back in the earlier days of the website. I am the LA Beast. I'm about to deliver those damn presents. These videos are obviously crazy and admittedly really fun to watch back in the day. But the one that sticks out to me the most is this one particular video of him dunking his hand into some hot ice. Have a good day! So, I've always wondered, what exactly is hot ice and why is he screaming like his hand is on fire? In the world of chemistry, hot ice is known as something called sodium acetate trihydrate. It's used in a variety of practical applications like providing heat in a hand warmer or as an epoxy alternative, mitigating water damage to concrete by acting as a concrete sealant. Yes, science! When sodium acetate trihydrate is heated beyond its melting point and cooled to a much lower temperature without freezing, in a chemical state known as being supercooled, which means that it tends to freeze or crystallize when very little disturbance is caused. If you look closely at the moments before LAB sticks his hand in, you can see him dip his fingers into a powder that's sitting beside the large jar. That powder is sodium acetate, which is the non-hydrated version of the liquid stuff. So when he coats his fingertips with the sodium acetate and then dunks his hand into the liquid sodium acetate trihydrate, the crystal disturbs the liquid mixture by providing it with nucleation sites for crystals to grow. Because the liquid is in a state that's so eager to turn itself into a solid, any introduction of the sodium acetate powder will trigger a cascade effect where the entire jar will start to solidify in mere seconds. The problem with LA Beast though is that the transition reaction is exothermic, which means that it gives off heat when the liquid parts become solid around his hand. Well, I went to the urgent care, I told the doctor what happened, and he had absolutely no sympathy for me. There was also some speculation that LA Beast was faking his reaction when the crystallization process was happening around his hand, as the maximum temperature that sodium acetate can reach is around 58 degrees. As mentioned before, the crystallization process is exothermic when going from a liquid to a solid. Solids generally have a lower energy state than liquids do, so the energy difference is released as heat, and unfortunately in this case, that energy directly transfers onto LA Beast's hand. 58 degrees is actually hot enough to cause you serious injury if the duration is long enough. It's not too far from 60 degrees, which is hot enough to give you full thickness burns with 5 seconds of exposure. To put that into perspective, hot baths usually run 30 to 40 degrees, and 70 degrees is hot enough to denature the proteins found in chicken eggs. Yes, the temperature may seem deceptively low, but it absolutely can cause some serious damage to all layers of the skin if exposure to it is long enough. Now, there are videos online where other people are doing the same type of experiment, but something else to note here is that he's using lab-grade chemicals, which generally have a higher concentration of acetic acid. There's also a good chance that LA Beast is also experiencing acid burns, along with the heat burns that he received from the crystallization energy. I acknowledge that mistakes were made here. I accept that responsibility. But regardless of whether or not you think what LA Beast did was insane or not, he does open up the door to some interesting chemistry discussion, not only providing us with incredible entertainment value, but also a reason for me to make use of all of those hours studying the subject in my undergraduate years. 